You got to get rid of the sugar, the unnatural sugar. I'm not talking about the sugar and fruits. Okay. Okay. Because the sugar and fruit is attached to fiber. The fiber in nature was always there to blunt the effect of the sugar. So you don't have to worry necessarily about fruit. But you got to worry about all the other sugar that isn't inside of something from nature. Because if you look at nature, there's no sugar bush, no sugar tree. It's taken out of something. Once something is ripped out of something, it is not no longer what it was. Mm. Okay. So you get rid of sugar. The other thing is you got to get rid of the refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates. The breads, the, the pastas, you know, the muffins, the pancakes. Like you got to get rid of those things. Because that's what's shooting your insulin levels up. And we talked about that. The other thing that I think also affects it is the unhealthy oils. Okay. And when I'm talking about canola oil, vegetable yeah, oil. Most of the time when you go to a restaurant, they use canola oil or sea oils, which are very unhealthy. Wow. Vegetable oil too? Vegetable oils too. So like so you should be doing olive oil, right? Like an olive oil, grape seed oil, avocado oil. Interesting. Okay. okay. But the thing of the thing is, the more you eat out, the more you're eating those oils. And what I find for a lot of people in our community, both men and women, we love crunchy foods, which means that we, we love fried foods. We do. Okay? And that's cheap. That's the cheaper food for them to make and the cheaper oil for them to use, too. Yep. Is that, that They're always going to use the worst oil because that's one of the most expensive things yep. for a restaurant. And, the, and my little brother, he worked at Zaxby's. He said they would leave that oil in there for weeks yeah. at a time. They're using the same oil and over every time. time it's heated, it gets more and more devilish. It gets more and more adulterated. It gets more and more unhealthy for you. Yep. So every day they reheat it is getting more and more toxic to you. And I don't want to blame just the the fast food restaurants. It's all restaurants, even the the, the high class ones. They're yeah. still using yeah, the cheap yeah. oil. It's very expensive. Yeah, all of them. So you got to switch those out. And another thing is is that you got to get rid of all this processed stuff. You know, you got to start eating real food. What about cereal and like oatmeal and stuff like that? Same thing. You know, most of it is is refined. Well, oatmeal, oatmeal, like oats. If you just buy the oats, the actual oats. You mean if you get like still cut oats? Yeah. Okay. Um, they're okay, but what you what I noticed with a lot of diabetics, I would have them have the oatmeal, and then test their blood sugars afterwards. I would notice a spike in their blood sugar, even with oatmeal. Damn it. So I always tell people to check your blood sugars afterwards. If okay. your blood sugars spike, then it's a problem. So no sugar. Okay, no sugar. So that means all the alcohols, all the sweets, we're removing that. Okay, cool. The oils, we out of there. So we got we got sugars, we got oils. Fellas, take this list down. It's not too difficult. That's not too difficult. Shit, shit, me, it's not too difficult. I think the bread I, is probably tough. the most it's difficult. The people. bread and, and the carbs. And, you know, I think this, and here's where it affects ladies. I've never, I've never dated a woman. And here's for the ladies who so y'all be real about this lady. I've never dated a woman that was regular. Regular in terms of what? Bowel movement. No, no, no. Listen, listen. See, no, thing, you, you really it. don't know though, because women, they like ninjas. So they figure out how to take <laughs> shit. No, no, no. I know, I know, but also because they're because they're women, they've also been taught this like class and grace. They've also been taught to skip shits. Like, don't shit in. Public restrooms. They find a way. Don't they find a way here. to do it. No, bro. They be. They don't be shitting. Like they don't shit. Is that true, ladies? Is like that a true? lot, of, bro. You've seen. You you've dated these chicks with these gut issues. Now they did have gut issues. Yeah. I mean that's but that's what a gut. But issue it was is. more like. Well, I guess so. If you are bloated, you probably haven't. You probably you feel shit. It. Yeah. Okay. Is that what bloated is? Because I think bloated is nah, like. Nah, nah. Now bloating is usually a uh, uh, a lot of gas in the stomach. Sometimes okay. your food is just. Lost in transit, so it's in yeah. the I either get for a long they time. either burp or they're bloated. Yeah, but the bow ah the bow movements, I don't know. No, the, the 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 truth is the vast majority of Americans are constipated. Mm. As a matter of fact, if you look at the medical definition of constipation, it's less than two or three bowel movements in a week. That's the medical definition, which means that if somebody has three or four in a week, that the medical definition means they're healthy. How, how often should we be using the bathroom? Thought about price. Multiple times a day, right? I have a I have a bowel movement every meal. Yeah, so me, if I me eat too. two meals, I have two bowel movements. Me hey, too. Hey, we're gonna have to end the show because Dr. Bowel Price is about to take a shit right now. <laughs> uh, no, no, I thought like that's to me that makes the most sense because every time you eat, you should go to the restroom. Yeah, because there's something to dump out. Like your body only needs 
the amino acids, the healthy fats, the minerals, the vitamins, the trace elements. That's all your body needs from that. And it doesn't need the physical food. Um, and Americans, we naturally overeat. Yes. So we eat three meals a day. So that means plus snacks. Plus snacks. Yeah. So if you consider that, we if somebody just follows that diet, we should be taking 21 shits a week. Yeah. Now, those snacks, those what so I that's what I, I was watching this on like the history channel. They said like in like prisoners of war, they feed them crackers and candy because those types of things, those processed foods stop them from having to go to the restaurant. Oh, yeah. So they want to constipate the prisoners. So that's why they feed them that. So mm. they wouldn't have to go to the restroom and they can still, you know, not starve them. Yeah. And some people in prison diets out here. <laughs> that's true. I, 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 I always tell I always tell the women that come spend time with me, I say, look, don't don't hold it in to set, spare my feelings. Because if you gotta go, you better go. Yeah. And it, it's I'm, I'm open about you know having those conversations. I don't mind, you know, telling a woman that, you know, hey, look. I see shit in like two days. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I do believe more men than women think actually would prefer them to be healthy and use the restroom regularly. Well, it's another taboo conversation, just like sex. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, nobody's sitting around having a conversation about bowel movements, you know? And so, like, it's because it's taboo, like, we have same, we have some of the similar issues with sex that we have with health, too. Yeah. Because we're not having conversations, you know, but it's different for me because like, you know, most of the women I meet, they know I'm healthy and most of the time they're healthy too. And so they're regular. And so like, I, it's like, I'm celebrating like, oh, you had, okay, I'm next. Well, so, <laughs> where do you meet these healthy chicks at? Not about price. Cause I, I mean, you, you're, you don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. So you know, if your lifestyle and your energy is on a healthy vibe, then that's what you're going to attract. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yo, I want y'all to send those questions in right now. We want to uh, yes. go ahead and get these questions answered for, for Dr. Bobby. And I'm getting ready to turn the members only chat on so we can have the members specifically ask question for Dr. Bobby. Dr. Bobby, real quick, I want to ask you, is there what's the equivalent in terms of erectile dysfunction for men? What's the equivalent for women? Um... It, I mean, it could be vaginal dryness. Um, it could be low libido as well, too. Um, it could be pain on sex. Mm. You know, so um, some women have that issue as well, too. Sometimes with endometriosis or other conditions. So um, still not even as looked down upon as I think. No, no, no. I think, what, what? like I said, like men in the performance area, like that's on you. Yeah, yeah. It really well, so, I mean, is. It's, it's women that I'm sure have issues with getting wet, but you so that might vaginal dryness might be an issue. Yeah. So is hmm. I want to ask y'all this too late, but but because by the way, I, I just want to get a, a feel for it. y'all. Y'all let me know because with this, y'all have brought this up to us so much. Do we need supplements for y'all? Is this something that y'all will be interested? If somebody, if we need to pro provide some natural supplements for our people, if y'all will be interested, I want to see somebody put supplement in the chat. And in with that even being the case, are there good natural supplements that people could put into their body that you deem healthy that that could be something that aids obviously outside of the you know working out, not skipping that yeah. and having a better diet? Are there some supplements mm. that could kind of speed up the process and kind of help us you know see some results a bit quicker? Man, so I always tell people again like. The reason why it's called a supplement because it's a supplement too. Okay. okay. So you got to make sure you do the foundation, which is lifestyle, which is how you move, how you eat, how you live, time in nature, uh, exposures to sunlight, drinking water, getting enough sleep. All those things play a huge role. Um, and in terms of supplements, like for the fellas, you mean? Let's let's start with the fellas. Yes. Okay. It's like uh, in terms of supplements for the fellas, uh, zinc is uh, like I said, zinc is something that I find that most men are deficient in. Okay. Uh, so who's right? They, yeah. they they be zinked out. Yeah. So zinc. Um, all the other things I act, it will actually be food that I would recommend. Because it, here's the, here's the thing. Like even if I tell you zinc, like I'm gonna tell you sources of zinc to eat. Like a certain nuts, they got zinc. Like cashews got zinc. Yeah. In yeah. So like. I always refer to the foods first. Got it. 
because like when you're going with a supplement you don't know the quality of the company you don't know like you don't know like what most people don't understand dosages properly Mm. uh the other thing is when you're using whole foods the cool thing is that you're not only getting the zinc but you're also getting other complementary vitamins and minerals as well too yeah that's going to help the zinc work even much more better yeah you know so like like i was telling you before we started this i mean i'm 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 in the process of creating a supplement but the supplement is being created based on all natural ingredients and not only that is created in such a way where they're they're synchronistic with each other yeah so this herb helps this herb do this and that kind of thing and so um that's what I, I tell people what you what i always see is for most people who are willing to do the work change their lifestyle in most cases 90 percent of cases the issue is resolved wow you know that's good news fellas yeah really good news so you know erectile dysfunction isn't like a, a death sentence in, ter yeah. in terms of your, like your sexual you know health you know but you got to be willing to make the shift in your lifestyle Listen, I know it in the distance, but I know it could damn sure I can imagine it. Damn what's, sure feel like it. What's this maca, <laughs> you, maca powder? You heard of that? Yeah, maca is pretty good. Maca too. powder. Oh, yeah. okay. Put so it, put maca, it. maca is a root, and uh, that's something that you can sort of add to your smoothies as well, too. Uh, you guys mentioned uh, watermelon earlier. Oh, watermelon is Watermelon is okay. also So they say apricot. the white part, right? They say the white part is a natural. That's what we have some West well, Indian uh, say. The, the, it has what's called citrulline. Citrulline stimulates nitric oxide, opens up the vessels, opens up the vessels. So that's the white part in particular. Mm -hmm. Hey, fellas, y'all. Nobody better... eats that part. No, I do now, but yeah. as of last week. Yeah, most people skip that part. That's not the tasty part, but it tastes like celery. Yeah. Honestly, so y'all hear that? Listen, y'all might just need to bite the whole shell of the goddamn watermelon, <laughs> fellas. If you're having them issues, make sure you buy you some watermelon while it's in season. Man, I love watermelon, man. I keep it stacked up in the house but I, I like that man so look help is on the way dr bobby said he got some got some sups yeah. some supplements coming in not to say you don't need to get in the gym not to say you don't need to necessarily stop eating that popeye's fried chicken and the damn mcdonald's french fries that you love so much mm -hmm. but along with those things yeah. that you know if you combine all of those things together yeah. it potentially you know can you know help yeah. the recovery process i'm yeah. really curious about the women though. i really want to know about that because some women claim they got the the wop and i'm wanting to know is that hereditary or is it things that a woman can do lifestyle and diet wise to make herself more Put wop in the chat ladies you got i'm just kidding <laughs> you know you know it's like everything like every man should have an erection and every woman should be able to be able to perform as well too and uh, everything is based off of health, you know, because what I was saying earlier was that, you know, we have to look at what's normal. Like what's normal for the body is the body wants to reproduce. The body wants to survive. And with that being said, is when the body's in a healthy state, then all systems are on the go. Yeah. And when it's not in a healthy state, especially when it comes to hormone balance, when it's not that that everything is going to be shifted in the direction where it's not normal mm. so the the issue is always making sure first the the body is not deficient okay it's properly nourished the other issue is making sure that the body is not toxic okay it's not full of waste and then as a result of those two things and making sure you have a healthy lifestyle exercise sunlight drinking water as a result of that there will be hormone balance in the body okay so you won't have the issues of a longer period or you won't have the issues of you know vaginal dryness or men won't have the issues of re erectile dysfunction or they won't have the issues of gynecomastia which are man boobs you know so like wow. all of those things play a role because of uh the health is shifting in the direction of dysfunction 